So I recently made a video on ISATA and their crazy hydrogen electrolyzer. That unit has hydrogen production efficiency levels of around 95%. If you would like to know more, go and watch that video after this one. But today we will take a look at yet another company who has worked hard in order to produce green hydrogen. But their unit can split the molecules without needing the scarce metals found in traditional electrolyzers. And this makes me happy. The more companies that work on this, the better the technology will become globally. Anyways, on to today's video. In a groundbreaking development, researchers from Tel Aviv University in Israel have taken a significant step forward by producing green hydrogen at an astonishing 90% efficiency level. Now, although this might be a little less than Isata's 95%, 90% is still crazy high and super impressive, especially when you look at how they do it. Now, hydrogen, often hailed as the fuel of the future, holds immense promise due to its versatility and environmentally friendly attributes. It plays a pivotal role in various industrial applications from generating electricity to powering vehicles. However, the existing hydrogen production methods have their drawbacks. Currently, around 95% of hydrogen is derived from natural gas and coal, resulting in substantial carbon dioxide emissions between 9 to 12 tons of CO2 for every ton of hydrogen produced. Why is this? Well, there are multiple ways to produce hydrogen, and unfortunately, at the moment, the cheapest way to do so isn't all that eco-friendly, whereas the eco-friendly way is currently quite expensive. But with technologies like the one Aisata is working on and this one, all of that is about to change. You see, the researchers from Tel Aviv University achieved the remarkable feat of producing green hydrogen, which is the good one, with no emissions and an astonishing 90% efficiency level without releasing polluting carbon dioxide emissions into the air. This achievement is chronicled in a study published in the Carbon Energy Journal, showcasing the potential of this technology to transform the energy landscape. Now, what sets this project apart lies in the approach to harness hydrogen. Itzak Greenberg, a doctoral student involved in the project, highlighted the rarity of hydrogen in the atmosphere. Even though it is naturally produced by enzymes in microscopic organisms through photosynthesis, the team recreated this phenomenon by electrifying enzymes in a laboratory, generating an electrode that mimics the sun's energy. This innovative method overcomes the scarcity of hydrogen in the atmosphere, providing an eco-friendly and efficient route to hydrogen production. The process involves using a water-based gel that attaches enzymes to a biocatalyst and electrode. This synergy triggers the creation of hydrogen, highlighting the beauty of nature-inspired solutions to complex challenges. Oren Benzivi, another doctoral student who co-led the study, acknowledged the existing challenges associated with producing green hydrogen, primarily centered around the high production cost due to the use of rare metals. The current state of green hydrogen production relies heavily on electrolysis, a process requiring precious and scarce metals like platinum, coupled with water distillation. This combination leads to a significant cost differential between green and conventional grey hydrogen, making the latter a more economical choice. However, the Tel Aviv University research team's breakthrough offers hope. Their method, if scaled successfully to industrial levels, could potentially revolutionize green hydrogen production by offering a cost-effective alternative. Now, if you don't understand how this whole thing works, I'm going to try and explain it. So instead of applying electrolysis to water, they are using enzymes, which when they are coupled to an electrical charge, they produce green hydrogen. One of the researchers explained, we soaked the electrode in the gel, which contained an enzyme for producing hydrogen called hydrogenous. The gel holds the enzyme for a long time, even under the electric voltage, and makes it possible to produce hydrogen with great efficiency and at environmental conditions favorable to the enzyme, for example in salt water, in contrast to electrolysis, which requires distilled water. The implications of the discovery are profound. If the Israeli breakthrough can be translated into a scalable industrial process, it could signify a turning point in the global push for sustainable energy by significantly reducing the production costs associated with green hydrogen. The technology holds the promise of making environmentally friendly energy sources more accessible and viable for widespread adoption. The research team's dedication to uncovering innovative pathways to sustainable energy underscores the power of science to address pressing environmental challenges. 
as the world grapples with the imperative of transitioning towards cleaner energy sources, the success of projects like this serves as a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Israel's strides in hydrogen production efficiency holds the potential to reshape our energy landscape, propelling us closer to a greener, more sustainable future. At the end of this video, please let me know what you think of this technology and are there any others that you would like to see and you would like me to make a video on. But yeah, at the end of the video, please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.